Has it been as long for you as it has for me? Last time of a 35 year old. Mopping, dusting, cleaning. you don't get to see too often folks uh, we have a set of not deliberately hanging lights we are installing down lights and we uh, just need to assess what color we want to go for they have three settings so this is the natural we have the warm at the top there because I couldn't reach it but I've set them all to natural for now so this is the kind of ambience we're looking at for natural and warm looks more like this so a lot warmer than the other cool tone lights so we've seen the natural we've seen the warm i'm going to set them all to warm and we'll decide who is the winner And this is warm, which is a lot softer, not as harsh. We're all about the soft lighting around here. And I think at my tenderly aging years, uh, being softly lit is never, never a bad thing. All right, so this is warm from a height. And this is what the green would look like. And the wardrobe, which looks so yellow. All right, okay, that's warm. That's neutral, isn't it? That's sitting in the middle. Okay, maybe you've talked me into it. Maybe neutral is the way to go because otherwise everything looks... You didn't realize how yellow it looked. Jeepers, all right. I guess we'll stick to neutral. Okay, uh. neutral. Neutral it is. that simple I have never seen this room so stage lit this is this is the dream this looks amazing wow great job good morning everyone and welcome back to another day in complete chaos in vlogmas or not because who knows when this video is gonna be released okay enough of that enough of that okay i'm growing nuts i've been up since 4 30 just to get the hair wash and also get used to this hair which isn't perfect by the way i've had it pinned up i just thought i'd take it down for dramatic aesthetic effect which i don't even know it's having oh with no makeup this might be the last proper hair wash i'll get in a month as well because we won't have access to a bathroom as i aforementioned now part 10 to the part 12 to the part 100 of the decluttering video which we all know and love the garage yes this is another space of the house where we like to stash things we've only had to stash so many things in here because we decluttered from upstairs therefore having to move things down here and now we have the issue where <laughs> this is my mum's doing of course she she wants to put in a cupboard we have some very old rickety cupboards behind, ironically, all this clutter, which we need access to. So she wants to rip our old ones out. They're quite old and just self-standing. So she wants them gone and a new one in. Uh, therefore, we need to basically declutter all, all of this miscellaneous stuff. I'm going to try to do my best to knock some of that off today. We've also had to do a major declutter for the painters. I will show you. And I think we can all agree that we haven't seen our kitchen look any cleaner than it does right now, nor the living room so completely unhinged. 
and just like my life the lounge room is also completely unhinged but that is because we are getting these walls touched up as well and this might be the only time i'll be able to talk freely on camera because we have people in the house working some very grumpy people mind you hmm. more on that to come perhaps i don't want to dwell on that i just need to get on with what i need to do and they need to get on with what they need to do so yeah enough said on that let's actually start with the decluttering i might put you on a bit of a time lapse let's see if we can make a bit of a chunk take a bit of a chunk out of this chaos and perhaps make things less chaotic although what i think this actually will be is basically dumping things from one side onto the other side not exactly solving the problem <laughs> made an impact i'm happy to say we've got two boxes left up there i'm not quite sure what those are i think they're old vcrs or dvd players which can probably go to the gods we have children's suitcases thomas wheelie and i've got some homeware bits down here to sort through they've already been sorted actually i just need somewhere to uh to put them in the meantime but this isn't going to be such a feat. I actually feel a lot better for starting because now it doesn't feel like such a huge mountain to climb. Another thing we could probably get rid of are these little drawers down here. I've actually stored in here um, like cooking bits and pieces which I do need to sort through. Hopefully once we get in the next clip we might have a little bit more of a bare wall or bare cupboard in this case. See those are the old cupboards adorned with old Christmas wreath, which we haven't taken out for years, and a half-naked Led Zeppelin poster. I did love the lead back in the day. Love, loved to get the lead out. In fact, I would love to get the lead out right now, but I don't want to embarrass myself by blasting some old-school heavy metal rock in my garage on a Friday. Catch me on a Saturday that I have off, though. Oh, no shame. No shame at all. Okay, looking rather doughy-eyed at this point. Really, really brief house update because we will have children running around absolutely everywhere it is almost time for pickups which is when I usually like to pick up the camera ironically pardon me my timing is just absolutely impeccable but let me flip you around and show you the progress on the garage this is really not exciting viewing but as you can see we still have lead there hello we've made a lot of progress so we have basically an almost empty space here just a few more bits to sort out but most excitingly is what's happened up here this is gonna blow your mind because my mind is completely completely blown okay child number one's room is painted a lovely lovely blue it's actually a lot lighter than what you can see here on camera this room just got a fresh coat of paint on the ceiling I'll flip on a light that might give a better impression of the color so this is the kind of blue we're talking about this is going to be my mum's new room so as you can see it's nice and light and bright in here and very calming matches the curtains but the piece de resistance <laughs> is our boudoir shall I reveal okay this is with the lights off I am just completely blown away and yes I'm aware the wardrobe and the door do need a fresh coat of paint however the cost I was not quite willing to fork out right now not to mention I actually don't mind the contrast and I think having a bit of an off-white or extremely off-white because this house is rather dated and the paint is aged. I don't mind a bit of the contrast. The yellow actually ties in with a bit of the green. I feel like it bounces off each other. So for now, we're just going to live with it and just pretend that it ain't there. And if I change my mind down the track, we can always do so. And I've got to rush off, have absolutely no idea what's going to happen tonight. So the more moving of parts, I'm going to say, as you can see, the under eye bags are very, very real. So let's see how much we get done tonight. I think we might start with the children's bedrooms, make sure perhaps they may have a place to sleep tonight. Otherwise we're back 
on the floor, which I don't mind. I can live with it. I'm a camper. I can tolerate these things. I'm quite a robust woman. Give me a mattress and just put me anywhere. I'm fine. As long as I have my family. Anyway, we'll be putting bits and pieces back together. So in the following clips, you will see hopefully some room starting to take form and shape. That is a machine. Filling all my aesthetic dreams. An extra ass in that aesthetic. <coughs> Pardon me. I've had a long day at work. I've just come home, shoved my face full of frozen dumplings. And now I've come back to actually some work being done that I didn't have to do, which was quite, oh, I'm quite grateful for. So husband has gone and moved furniture around in our bedroom. As you can see, the boys' bedrooms were getting done in those last clips. I will give you a bit of a tour if I haven't already because, once again, the disjointed timeline of life, my particular one. <laughs> uh, also, wow, I have lighting without having to put stage lighting up, which is just so, so welcome. Let me just give you a brief a little tour. So, standing on the front step here, we've got all our cleaning products ready to go because, yes, the cleaning is not over, folks. We've got some clothes that need to be obviously put away, side tables, oh how disruptive, side tables are back in and the colour looking super super appropriate against this grey, green, blue, oh gosh we chose well, thank you husband for your keen eye, um, have the old mirror up, mirror box that is, the mirror isn't in yet but uh, we'll find a house for this and have popped the wardrobe which used to be over there which is now over here and it's under the old air conditioning we have shifted makeup table guys I might be getting some natural light against the window not much though because uh we don't get much natural light in here so that's going to be a bit of a different backdrop i'm not sure what it's going to look like but we live it worked for the space be cubbyhole bookcase moved from its original position which was near the wardrobe very much looking forward to glamming that up haven't had a chance to do anything about this yet however this is the exciting part which i was actually dreading uh, yes this tv has it, it's grown since we've last seen her uh, this is a different television i was actually dreading absolutely dreading the idea of this television because we actually received this television as part of a promotion I kind of want this this television it's complicated but don't worry it's all it's all legal we didn't just you know get it for free <laughs> it was a uh, part of a promotion that we were involved in so I uh, ended up with this television that we had no room to mount or to do anything with until we had this opportunity to I guess clear the entire house and our husband was very keen to get a bigger television which is fair the upgrade from the old one which is you know over 15 years old now fair enough this one is a samsung good quality tv haven't had a chance to have a real good look at it because i came home saw that he mounted it he is very very handy my handy very ha i can't speak my husband is very handy, he's a handy man, and I recommend to anyone out there who likes to do a lot of DIY, it's good to get one of those, unless you're very good at DIY yourself. My hat's off to you. So anyway, not dreading it because it's a lot smaller and a lot less humongous and like obscene than I thought it would be. I honestly thought it would be kind of double this size and just take over half the wall and that is just not part of my dream is it so anyway it works same width as the drawers so they're back pretty much in their original spot if not a bit 
or this way. And then we have decided to pop the bookcase, which used to be over in that corner. It's now over here. And then you have some space near the wardrobe for mirror to go back and so forth. Anyway, what I need to do now is sweep and mop for the 10th time. I don't think I've ever done this much floor cleaning in such a concentrated amount of time in my life, um, but I find it quite peaceful. I can put a bit of music on, quite cathartic. And then we will get down to sorting out the bedding because as you know, we have no bed right now. We're waiting on a bed frame, so we will be sleeping on the floor on our mattress though. But before we pop the mattress down, I do have a little surprise to pull the rug out from underneath you. Just a little play on words there. I have a rug from Kmart, which I have stored for years, I think, maybe a good year, a year and a half, haven't used it, was intended for another purpose but didn't get around to using it and it's just been sitting by its lonesome in our spare room, so I think today's the day that we might try a rug underneath a bed situation, never tried it before, apparently it might make your space look bigger, also not sure if the rug is too big for this room, so we shall see when we unravel it, I've completely forgotten what it looked like, but We'll be surprised together. Hopefully it's a good surprise because I need one of those. In fact, you know, I lie. This week has been full of good surprises. There's been some heart attacks involved, like just stressful, you know, managing children with work going on in the house and sleeping arrangements and situations. But apart from that, many, many good happy surprises. Let's do some cleaning. I think my brain needs to decompress. <laughs> just pop the wipe into these little claws here and be on your merry way. I mean, how easy is that? No mop bucket, no dirty water that you have to throw away, no wringing out of the mop. You just literally dispose of the wipe. And also, they're double-sided, so you use one side and then the other, so you're not creating too much waste. In fact, it encourages me to do the mopping, so if anything, Fantastic incentive to keep your floors clean for those of you who are a bit reluctant to do so like myself. What do you think? Somebody open the door! 
No, we can't. Because we're making we're making a carpet. No. You, you can see it at the end. Very, this is meant to be for like a lounge situ. Oh, I'm pulling them up. Can you see my fingers? I can see your fingers. Give me a high five. <laughs> All right, I'll give you a high five in a, in a second. Oh, this does not go, does it? Not to mention, I don't trip it even. I don't know, it is. It's actually the perfect size. But I just don't think it's the perfect rug. Hi. 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 Do you know what? For tonight, we'll leave it just for the sake of putting the mattress on it because the mattress has to go on something at this point. But I don't know if it actually works with this room. Thoughts? If it doesn't go, then I'll roll it back up. Thank you.